Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to the part 3 of learning Flutter graphs using Syncfusion Flutter Charts library or we can say a dependency. Right, so in the last part we had seen that how we can create pie charts and Cartesian charts and the Cartesian charts we were seeing area chart, column chart, line chart, bar chart and various types of charts, right. And in the last part we were seeing the SF circular charts and pie chart is nothing but a type of uh, circular chart only. And in this part, we will be seeing uh, some other kind of uh, circular chart. For that thing, I'm going to create one file in the widgets folder called radial chart dot dot. So this radial chart is not a type. It's a uh, it's not a kind of chart. It's a type of chart which comes under the uh, SF circular chart series, right? So in the pie chart, as you can see that we were uh, calling SF circular chart and inside that we were using so as you know that in the pie chart we were calling a sf circular chart and inside that we were using a pie series so in the same way we are going to call sf circular chart and we will be calling a radial series so let me just copy the same thing and go to radial chart and paste it over here and let me just hit ctrl plus f and i'm going to uh, find pie chart from here and i'm going to replace that with radial chart and let's replace it perfect and uh, in the main dot dart now i'm going to return radial chart widget perfect nice and over here i can see that there is pi data and pi data so i'm going to again hit control plus f replace pi data with radial data replace Perfect. Nice. So if I just save it, uh, it is going to show me the same result because I'm I'm uh, creating a pie chart only. So what I'm going to do is uh, first of all, uh, I can see that in the SF circular chart, it is going to remain as it is. Then background color let's remain as it is. And let me just remove the height and we will keep the height afterwards. So in the legend is also fine. And after this, let me just remove the palette. Uh, or we can just keep it and let me just comment it out. Yes, comment it out. Legend is also okay. Title is also okay. And is also okay. And in the Pi series, I'm going to return. Let me just cut everything. In the Pi series, I'm going to return a, a radial series. Radial bar series. X value mapper, Y value mapper. So first of all, this radial series will map the data from radial data, comma string, because my x is going to be string. And now in the x value mapper, I'm going to take a radial data. Let's call it data, comma, uh, underscore, then an arrow. And this will be mapping a uh, data dot x data. Because in my constructor, you can see in my class data, you can see that there is x data, which is string and there is y data, which is num. So let me just save it. And the same way, let me just copy this and my y value will be data dot y data. And I have to provide data source. Last time I forgot it. Let me just write data source will be uh, chart data. Chart data. And yes, let me just save it. So you can see that the radial chart looks something like this, right? Now let's try to make it a little beautiful. So first thing is let's remove this palette and the colors will be changing to red, green and blue. As you can see, so Akshit is red, then uh, green is Aditya and blue is Karan. Perfect. So what are other things that we can provide? So the other thing that we can provide is the corner style. Uh, first let's provide and let me just remove this background color the black is not looking good and let me just save it okay and now what i can do is i can provide uh, track color so in the radial bar series i can provide track color you can see that track border color also you can provide border width also you can provide and everything i'm going to just show you so track color will uh, take colors dot black let's take not black let's take gray dot shade 800 gray let me just save it 
okay and what other things that i can provide is i can provide the gap so if i just write gap and inside the string i have to write like let's take five percent right and if i just save it now you can see that the gap has increased between these uh, concentric circles i can just decrease a little bit and i can just save it perfect three percent is fine now let's say i want to make these edges of these uh, concentric circles as rounded they are like pointed right so what i can do is corner style i can define so in this after data source i can define corner style and to this corner style you can write corner style dot both curve and let's save it you can see that now it's looking very much beautiful because now the edges are little pointed right perfect legend is over here nice so what i can do is now uh, data label settings let's say you want to define the labels also inside it so in the last part we also did the same thing you have to write data label settings and inside this data label settings you have to write data label settings then you have to write is visible as true let's save it perfect so you can see that red is 90000 then green is 20000 and blue is 50000 perfect nice so now the two other parameters that we are going to see is the inner radius and the radius so in this radial bar we have a parameter called radius which takes a string and inside this you have to write 30% 50% 70% like this so let's take the radius as 70% and then we have the inner radius and let's take this one as 30% and if I just save it so you can see that my graph has uh, changed a little bit and this one this as you can see my cursor this is the inner radius and the whole radius is the radius so if I just uh, increment the inner radius to 60% then you see then you can see that my uh, rings uh, have decreased in the radius and now I can just make this one as 90% and let's see perfect so the whole radius of the graph has increased and I think this should be a little bit less I think 40 will be good so if I just yes nice and now I can just uncomment this height so that it gets fixed everything uh, in height in first 300 height only 300 pixels and I think that this looks very much very much beautiful now the other type of graph that I was talking about which comes under this circular chart only is a donut chart so for that thing you have to just comment some of the parameters but let's first change this radial bar series to donut series perfect so as you can see that we have to remove these two parameters comment them out and the other thing yes rest is okay and it is looking something like this but uh, what I have to do is yes I have to remove the radius and inner radius let me just comment them out let's save them and the problem is with corner style also let's remove it and let's save it perfect so this is my perfect donut right so you can see that the maximum part is got by this red part then green is smaller smallest and blue is in the middle right so like this you can play with different types of charts which comes under uh, uh, radial uh, sf circular chart and i told you that how you can draw pie charts radial charts and donut charts right so i hope you like this video and in the last part of this series we will be creating a live chart so data will be getting updated live and i hope you will like it so till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot